Hey again, I'm back. Sorry, I know I haven't made videos in months and now I've decided to just pop them out all at one time apparently. <laughs> I had some time this weekend so I thought I'm going to make videos because it's been a long time. Okay, so I'm going to do kind of a massive accumulation Mac haul. Um, I've been missing pretty much all of the collections. I missed all of them. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you what's out there right now. I have no clue. But the only thing I do know that I got from a collection, only because I looked it up, was one of the blushes, the mineralized blush in Utterly Game, uh, which is, I guess, from the Fabulous Feelings collection, the Leopard Lux. Am I saying that right? <laughs> it's just a really nice coral blush. I've been wearing it pretty much every day, except, of course, today. I didn't wear it today. I wore um, the mineralized blush and warm soul. But um, this has pretty much been my go-to every day since I bought it. I really like it. It just gives you this nice, those mineralized blushes give you a really nice finish to your face. I really, really like them. Um, and I got three eyeshadows that I probably should have had in my collection a long time ago, but I don't know why I didn't. Um, I've been really into really easy, quick makeup lately, so I picked up things that were kind of just really neutral I could throw on really quick. This one's Era which is just a really nice matte. I think they're all mattes. They should be. Oh, no, this one's a satin. Um, it just goes on really nice. I really like it. And then I got Omega, because for some reason I never had Omega, and it's a matte shadow. It's a lot like the um, Era, except it's more of a taupe. These are the two compared together, just so you can see. This just has more of a sheen to it. But I really like them, because they're just quick and easy. And then the one I've been loving is Blank Type. And I don't know why I never had this. I've used Max Vanilla for, you know, a long time. But this one's more for my skin tone, so I like it better. I use this on the inner corners and then up to about right there. Um, I've been using Revlon's White Whisper for years for that, but they stopped making it, so I had to find a dupe for it. And uh, this has been working out really good. And this is a matte shadow, too. Yeah, I figured it was. So I picked up those. Um... Lipsticks. Look, <laughs> I got a crap load of lipstick lately. I don't know why or what possessed me. I didn't even realize I bought so many lately. I was on a roll. I got Angel, which is a frost, which is, it's not very frosty though. Just a really pretty pink. Feels really nice. I don't know when we go for pinks, but I really liked it, so. Um, Honey Love, which I'm really loving. It's a matte shade. I'm really into matte shades, which is right here. Look at the coverage on that. It's really nice. Um, and I'm sorry I'm going really fast, but I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, Hue is one that I have been loving. I wear it every day. It's a glaze, which I don't normally get glazes because they don't have any coverage. They're really sheer, but they feel so nice on your lips. This one feels, I love it. It feels so nice. And then I picked up, uh, oh, I guess this is from one of the collections, the Digi Dazzle collection, I think it was. Smash Hit. It's kind of an iridescent. It's a really weird color. It looked really cool in the store, and then I was really disappointed when I got it home because it's so. Look, you could just um, turn it and you can see it in the light. It's got a really cool finish to it, but it's, you know, not a lot of color payoff. Just more of something you wear over something else. And let's see, Cosmo, which is amplified. I'll put it next to the, this is a gorgeous color. Pretty universal. It's kind of a rosy. Good color payoff on that one. I really like it. I like all of these colors I picked up, except for, you know, Smash Hit. And I don't know, not that excited about. This one is a matte and it's called Taupe. These are pretty much all in the same family, as you can see. It's like a, it's just a little bit more of a brick color. Pretty for fall. I'm so excited for fall. I can't wait. It's one of my favorite seasons. I love it. I love it when it starts getting cold outside and you can bring out the boots and the sweaters and oh, it's my favorite. I can't wait. So I think that's about it. And then I want to do a really quick um, rave review on something I am just loving because I've been in such a hurry with so much work lately. I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup or do anything fun or exciting at all. But um, I picked up this little trio and it's Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow and I love this as you can tell. Look, hello. And I, so I picked up a spare. I love this. 
I've been wearing it. I wear this one a lot. Well, this color I wear every single day since I've bought it. But here are the colors. They're just really quick and easy. Oh, and I'm wearing it today. So that's what it looks like on. Um, just really quick, easy, no creasing, the good color payoff. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Five bucks, I think, somewhere around the $5 neighborhood. Good buy. If you see it, get it. It's, it's a really good basic. Thumbs up. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Um, that's all I have. That was a big haul, though. I just talked really fast. <laughs> all right, I'll see you next time. Bye.